Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to another week of virtual primary. Um, today, our Come Follow Me lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about the Book of Mormon, which is what we're studying this year. And we're going to talk about it with uh, the Bible as well. So Mormon, you've all heard that word, that name. He was a prophet in the Book of Mormon. And he said that the Book of Mormon would help all of us understand the Bible. And the opposite is true. He said that anyone who believes in the Bible would believe in the Book of Mormon as well. And that's because they say a lot of the same things. They go together. They are like a team and they work together. Okay. And so the Bible is not going to say anything that contradicts the Bible or the Book of Mormon. Sorry. And the Book of Mormon is not going to say anything that makes the Bible not true. Okay. They'll always go together. And that's why we use both of them. And we have both of them in our scripture case when we take it to church. Okay. And it says that, I want to show you guys something. Um, Underneath the Book of Mormon, it says down here, it says another testament of Jesus Christ. So I want to know why does it say another testament of Jesus Christ? What does that mean? Where's the first testament? What are they talking about? So if you go into your Bible... It says the Old Testament, okay? So we have the Old Testament, and that's where you'll find stories about Moses and Noah and all those stories that you've heard before. And then if you go a little further in the Bible, we have the New Testament. And right there, it says the New Testament of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, okay? So we have the Old Testament, the New Testament, and then another testament okay and so i think that they, they put that on there so that everyone would know it goes with the bible they work together okay um and you need both you need both of them to have the whole truth and have everything that heavenly father and jesus christ want us to know okay all right and it also says it talks about how um there's a lot of similarities in the book of mormon and the bible so when you think about Christ's life, um, in both of these books, the New Testament and the Book of Mormon, it talks about Christ being born and that he's our savior. And it talks about how people prophesied that he was going to be born. Prophets knew it was going to happen. They told people. It talks about how we knew Christ would suffer in the Garden of Gethsemane. And that's called his atonement, that he died for us. After he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he died for us. He hung on the cross. And that is told about in both the Book of Mormon and the New Testament. And then it also talks about how he was resurrected. After he died, he was resurrected. And he was the first person on earth to be resurrected. And because he was, that means that all of us will be as well. Okay, after we die, we will be resurrected, just like Jesus. And I want to show you guys a cool map. This is my kid's book I stole. It's one of my favorite books. It's really pretty. And it's a bunch of maps. So I know the words will be backwards for you guys. But over here is North America. And that's where we live. We live in the United States. So we're probably right around there in Idaho. And um, way over here. So we're over here. You go way over here, you're going to find a tiny little country over here um, in Asia called um, Jerusalem is over here, Israel. And there's Jerusalem. And that is where Christ lived his life, okay? And that's where a lot of the Bible takes place is in Jerusalem, okay, over here. And then the Book of Mormon is over here in North America, okay? So it's just different locations. Of course, the Book of Mormon starts over by Jerusalem because that's where Nephi and Lehi live. Okay, and that's where they left. And then I want to show you a closer up picture. Okay, so this is Asia. All right. And you can see that Asia is huge. So here's Russia up here, China. And so right in here, oh, let me find it. I'm all backwards. Right over here, you will find Israel. And I know it's kind of blurry for you guys, but Israel's right here and Jerusalem's in there. Okay, so this is Africa down here. Okay, 
Egypt is right here. All right, Europe is up there. Okay, just to give you an idea of where it's at. So that's where Jerusalem is. And here's the United States. And we're over here in Idaho. Okay, so it's far, far away from us is where the Bible took place. And so just like the Book of Mormon tells us, after Christ was resurrected, he went to the Americas to see all the people there in the Americas, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so I want you guys to remember this week, if you ever have any missionary opportunities, and I know that during my life, sometimes people have told me, well, you use the Book of Mormon, so you must not be Christian. I've had people tell me that. And I wish I had been brave enough to say, yes, I am a Christian because the Book of Mormon is a testament of Christ, okay? Just like the Bible testifies of Christ, so does the Book of Mormon. And because we believe Jesus Christ is our Savior, that makes us Christians, okay? And that's what it means to be a Christian is believing in Jesus Christ as our Savior. Okay, so I want you guys to remember that and to be good missionaries. And hopefully I can see you guys soon. Bye. Hi, welcome to singing time this week. I'm so excited to sing with you. Um, this week in the Come Follow Me lessons, we learned about Moroni. And he was the last Nephite left on the land and the last righteous per person on all of the American continent. Um, so he felt very alone sometimes. But he still decided to choose the right and follow what the Lord wanted him to do, even though he was all by himself. Sometimes we feel like that. When we are with our friends and we're the only one that wants to choose the right, sometimes it's a little lonely and hard to choose the right. But we need to stand for the right at all times. Let's sing Stand for the Right. I love this song. Okay, for our song Stand for the Right, we need... A, something to be a drumstick so I'm gonna choose a pen this is my drumstick and you need two different objects to drum so one could be like a Tupperware container and the other could be a box or one could be a lid that you hold and one could be your lap so any two things that you want to drum against just not on anybody else. No drumming on anybody else. All right, go grab your items. You've got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Are you back? Okay, here is our pattern. So I have a Tupperware and it's lid. We are going to go one, two, three. our pattern. So we're going one, two, three, one, two, three. Starting up here.
mess up. Oh, I don't know where my brain goes sometimes. All right, so that teaches us that no matter where we're at, at work or at play, and work is school for you guys. At work, at play, when it's dark outside, when it's light outside, we are going to stand for the right and do what's right, just like Moroni. So another way that we can stand for the right is by showing love for everyone. We are going to sing Jesus said love everyone. And for this, I need you to get a special magic marker. Hold out your hand, grab your special marker. This special marker can create any color that you want. So I'm going to show you the pattern that we're going to do with our magic markers. Here is the pattern that we are going to draw. It is loop, 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 stop. Little stop there. Okay, can you do that? Loop, 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 stop. Now can you do it the other way? Loop, 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 stop. Good job. All right, let's sing our song. Okay, what is your first color going to be? Mine is going to be pink with a ton of sparkles, just so many sparkles. Okay, what's your first color? Oh, that's really good. Okay, let's sing it. Okay, let's choose another color. My next color is going to be yellow with big green polka dots. What's your next color? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, let's sing it again. Let's start from the other side this time. Over here. time but let's try and sing it a little faster do you think you can go faster and keep our pattern going I think you can do it let's choose one more color for my last color I think I'm going to do I'm gonna do the night sky with stars okay what's your very last color oh that's a good one okay here we go kind of fun going faster. We should do that more often. Um, I know that when we treat others with love, that they will love us too. And we, we will feel so much better when we are kind and serving others. And that is something that Jesus wants us to do. And that is something that we can do to stand up for the right and be kind, no matter if we are the only ones being kind. Somebody wanted to say hi. It's Roxy. Say hi. hi. <laughs> we are now going to make some carrot cake cupcakes. And we're going to call these miracle cupcakes. So here is all of our ingredients. And we're going to pour them in and mix them up. So first, we need to do the sugar. Hey, Margaret, do you want to help me with the sugar? Okay, pour it in. Okay, we're going to mix 
for Shala. For just a couple seconds. Okay, we've got all of our wet ingredients mixed together. Now we're going to add our dry ingredients. We'll move this out of your way for a Okay, Mara's going to dump it in. We've got our flowers in here. Then we've got salt, baking powder, baking soda, and some pumpkin spice in here. Okay, do you want to pour this in? Okay, we're going to mix this up now. Okay, it's all mixed together. Now at the beginning, what kind of what kind of cupcakes did we say these were? They're going to be carrot cupcakes. But well, we didn't put any carrot in. How are they supposed to be carrot cupcakes if we didn't put carrots in? That is our missing ingredient. We need to add that. So here's our shredded carrot and we're going to mix it in. So let's talk about miracles for a second. Miracles require one special ingredient and that is faith. Without faith, there are no miracles. Something amazing could happen and without faith to see that it's a miracle, the miracle doesn't even exist. It's like it never even happened. So when we have faith, then comes the miracles. So when we have carrots, then comes our carrot cake cupcakes. That's why these are miracle mm -hmm. cupcakes. So let's add this in. Now we've got all of our carrot mixture mixed in. Now you can see the batter looks like it's supposed to. And we are gonna put it in some cupcake, uh, cupcake liners and stick it in the oven. Okay, our muffins are in the oven. And I just wanted to testify to you guys that I know that miracles still happen today and that Jesus is a God of miracles. We are going to sing that song. We're going to sing the song Miracles. And I'm going to show you guys some pictures as we sing. And I want you to feel in your heart the truth of it as we sing it. And we are going to end with that song. So I hope you all have a great week this week after we sing this song and that you can feel the spirit as we sing it. Here we go. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus walked upon the water. He stood the storm and calmed the angry sea.